to fight, Father God. Till that time comes, help us keep more faithful. Faithful in everything that we have to do, Father God. Just help us to be faithful. All these blessings we ask you, your darling son, tonight. Jesus. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, Lord.
hymn this morning, shaking and showing joy and love. We just want you to know that uh, for you who that don't know, know the fact that Sister Henderson mother passed last night. And we have our pastor here, but we must remember that we got to keep uh, Joseph family and the Henderson family in prayer. By the time of bereavement, and just to know that Sister Henderson mother he didn't have to hire no grievers or mourners to fake her goodness. Because we know, as we know, that she was a Christian woman. We moan, but we moan for the joy that God has allowed us to spend time with an individual that's in Christ. Amen. We all shook up. We could be all shook up, but we're not. We know that we can hold on goodness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. After saying all of that, now let's return to our taking the screen for our announcement. Praise the Lord, Church. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. The announcements for this week are as follows. Do you remember being younger and just being so excited? Mm, this is an old program. Thank you. Do you have an issue or problem in forgiveness? Jesus taught his followers to pray and warned them that the warned them of the problems of unforgiveness. He was very clear. Those who refuse to forgive others won't be forgiven by the Father. Mm -hmm. You don't lose your salvation when you refuse to forgive, but there are consequences for unforgiveness. You break fellowship with God because an unrepentant attitude gets in the way of confession and repentance, since the Lord cannot and will not ignore sin. Are you willing to break fellowship with God and violate his word rather than assume responsibility for your unforgiving heart? Let it go, saints, and move forward in grace. Pray for those who despitefully use you or hurt you. Be obedient to his word and forgive. Keep in prayer and keep in mind our sick and shut-in, traveling, bereaved, our young people at home and away, and all who have said, pray for me. Continue to send special prayers and God's blessing for protection, healing, and direction by family, friends, and neighbors, co-workers, and all, and all with whom we interact. And we have, I have an extra special uh, prayer for Mother Dear. And we thank God that she made 99. And we thank her and him for her being in our lives as an example of a godly woman. We also pray for Sister Mae White, Minister and Sister Campbell, and all others on our special prayer list who are standing in the need of prayer. Be sure to join in our Thanksgiving Day service this Thursday at 8 a.m. It's not too late to be blessed and to be a blessing. Please mark your envelopes to donate to those in need with our Thanksgiving baskets. We are passing out baskets for those names that I've received. Uh, but we were a little late in announcing it, so if you would still like to mark your envelopes uh, with a donation, please do. Um, and those who uh, requested cards, please see me immediately after church so that we can give them to those in need in a timely fashion. Weekly reminders, reminders Wednesday at 7 p.m., Bible study prayer service. Sunday school, uh, Sunday, Sunday school, hmm morning at 9.30 a.m. Third Sunday women's ministry each second Saturday at noon. Uh, men's ministry each third Saturday 9.30 a.m. Each fourth Sunday Dean Wood Rehabilitation Center at 2.30 p.m. Do you need a ride to church next Sunday? Please contact Deacon Birch on 301-735-3475. Visit and support our church website at njbcmd.org at Twitter at New Jerusalem BC. 
Google, Google Plus, Yahoo, YouTube, Ustream, and Facebook. Be sure to visit and sign in and direct others to the site and a blessing. Don't forget, you can make a donation online should you miss a service. Our thought for the week, we all desire God's favor, but if we examine our lifestyles, are we living in a manner that positions us to receive his full blessings? As confessed believers, we're always under the canopy of God's grace and love. However, it's also true that our behavior and our heart and soul's condition determine whether we receive the fullness of his blessings. Although we serve a loving and forgiving God, we sin when we do not give ourselves fully over to God's authority, and sin is not without consequences. Anything we do not give over to God's authority is evidence of pride, the exact opposite of what our Father wants from his children. According to the scripture, we know that God is opposed to the proud but gives grace to the humble. And though some dreams, desires, and people are difficult to release into his hands, understand that our lack of submission proves that we are not only not submissive and humble, but we think our way is better than his plan. Do you seek to experience God's full favor? Read Psalms 51, 17, and then humble yourself and surrender to him. Submit, submit not some, but all areas of your life to Jesus, from finances and health to relationships and work habits and beyond. Recognize his authority in all things and revere his word. Give Jesus what he desires, a contrite heart and a humble spirit. On our prayer list, okay. on our prayer list, we have Kiara Johnson, the Williams family, the Rosia family, Cheryl McCraney, the Lopez family, Nickelberry family, the Birch family, Dr. D. Deneen Hall, um, okay. Sister Taisha White, uh, Tashida White, the Harris family, the Nathan family, the Canada family, the Fletcher family, Doris Gordon, uh, Witt family, Jenkins family, Green family, the Henderson and Joseph family. Thank you. Good morning, New Jerusalem. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you, Sister Green, so very much for the reading of our announcements. And truly, God is worthy of all praise. That's right. All glory. Mm -hmm. All honor. And we came to praise Him. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, as most of you have already heard, uh, Mother did a transition last night. And going home to be with the Lord, I uh, talked with Sister Henderson and Though the tears were flowing, it's well with us all. Uh, and uh, first, just to uh, uh, take everyone on one accord, the uh, pastor's schedule is uh, unpredictable as it relates to trying to get down uh, to Louisiana to be with Mr. Henderson and this a time to breathe in and naturally to attend the film for Mother Dear. And um, death, death knows no prejudices. And death doesn't care that it's Thanksgiving time. And so I want to uh, let you know that uh, for our Thanksgiving service, we still plan to go on with our Thanksgiving service. Uh, it's scheduled to be at 8 o'clock in the morning. We try to keep it to more, no more than one hour. I may not be here, uh, but I'm need not to remind you that I am the under-shepherd of New Jerusalem Baptist Church. And if I'm the under-shepherd, that means there's somebody above me, right? Amen. Amen. That's Jesus Christ, the chief shepherd. And certainly, uh, he will indeed be here. And we look into Minister Campbell and Minister White and the deacons to carry on uh, in my absence. Now, if we're going to keep the service to one hour, on uh, Thursday morning, you have to be here on time. Uh, and uh, by doing so, uh, everybody can be out of here by 9 o'clock. But if you decide that you're going to show up late for the service and get here at 8.30, uh, then uh, that, that makes it uh, rather difficult. But you truly enjoy the service, and I, I don't want to 
uh, one of Minister Campbell thinking he got to hold up and wait for folks to show up. Minister Campbell don't hold up and wait for show to show up at eight o'clock. Start the service. Hey, the Lord, and I believe that most, if not all of us, will be here at that time. Uh, let's make God's time our time. Uh, don't send a God around our lives, but send our lives around God. So uh, uh, let's all be here at 8 o'clock on uh, Thanksgiving morning to come and give God some thanks for uh, what he's done for us in our lives. That is, if you're thankful, come ye thankful people, come. Raise the song of Harvest Home. So uh, I, I, I don't know about you, but I'm thankful I may not be here, but I'm going to be somewhere uh, giving thanks to God for uh, his bountiful goodness towards us. He's worthy. He's worthy of all praise, glory, and honor. Uh, I, I got back from Louisiana uh, last this past Sunday night, and uh, I've been kind of fast forward uh, since returning. Uh, for those of you who may not be aware, uh, Reverend Trueheart, who's a dear uh, been friend down through the years of the New Jerusalem family, uh, passed away, and he was funeralized on this past Monday uh, at the New Mount Nebo Baptist Church. It was uh, Pastor Trueheart who introduced me to New Jerusalem. And uh, uh, little did I know uh, that uh, that introduction would lead to me 30 years later uh, still being here at the New Jerusalem Baptist Church. He's, he was a fine uh, fellow. He and, he and Pastor Miles were classmates. And so uh, uh, we had a, a good going away service for him on this past Monday. Uh, things were a little busier than usual for me this past week to watch him back to seminary. He was having convocation services all week. so. Uh, every night this past week, I was uh, going over uh, supporting the seminary uh, in the convocation service, and I thank Minister Campbell for carrying on and those who attended with the Bible study and prayer service on this past Wednesday. I'm calling on you again uh, this coming week, Minister Campbell. Uh, now, this Wednesday being the Wednesday before Thanksgiving, uh, we're going to abbreviate our Bible study prayer service session by having only prayer service on this coming Wednesday. Once again, uh, come on out, pull your weight selves away from those stoves and uh, from those ovens and, and uh, come on out, come on out and uh, praise God and thank Him for His goodness and most of all for His Son Jesus who died for our sins. Uh, Keep in mind that uh, this uh, is the last Sunday for giving to our Thanksgiving baskets, which reminds me that this past week we received an mail offering from Sister Tangela Campbell and, uh, and put in her offering, on, offering envelope. I did, uh, Minister Campbell allocate some of it to Thanksgiving baskets, uh, if you will. Think differently, take it and, and change it. But uh, today is the last day uh, to be able to give to Thanksgiving baskets. And keep in mind that God blesses us that we might be a blessing. And uh, if we give, it shall be what? Given unto us. Uh, he who sow it sparingly shall what? Reap sparingly. So uh, let, let us be mindful of the fact that God blesses us to be a blessing. And don't ever think that you're not able to give. Um, the more you give, uh, that scripture confirms, the more he gives to you good measure, press down, shaken together, and running over. Uh, and so, uh, uh, Sister Green, who is the chairperson of our alms committee, uh, will be, uh, if you've got any names or any persons that uh, stand in need of a blessing for this Thanksgiving, please uh, give those names and uh, make those requests known to Sister Green. She has done an excellent job down through the years of carrying out uh, uh, this responsibility. 
Now, next Sunday uh, is also the fourth Sunday when we go to Deanwood. And more than likely, Mr. Campbell, uh, Pastor will not be here. So, uh, deacons, deaconess, officers, I'm uh, depending upon you to give Mr. Campbell your full support uh, during the time that the pastor and Sister Henderson uh, will be away. Uh, uh, lastly, uh, this Christmas, which is going to be up on us in a few weeks, it's going to be on Sunday. So uh, keep that in mind, Six. <coughs> Christmas is going to fall on a Sunday this year. We're going to have a modified schedule for Sunday, December the, uh, uh, 25th. Our services will be at 10 o'clock in the morning, and there will not be any Sunday school service. But keep that in mind. Uh, Christmas Day is going to be on a Sunday. Uh, now, if Christmas Day is going to be on a Sunday, that means New Year's Day is going to be on a what? Sunday. Sunday. That's in there. And uh, we need to get together, together with the officers and talk about that. And uh, that reminds me that our, our church business meeting uh, is coming up in the uh, near future. A church business meeting is going to be coming up on Saturday, December the 3rd, uh, which is just a couple of weeks away. Uh, so, uh, and at that time, uh, we're going to uh, decide how we're going to go forth with our service on Thanksgiving Day. Mark your calendar, Saturday, uh, December the 3rd, our church business meeting. Please come. Amen. Let's all come out. The business of the church is everybody business. And at that time, we set out budgets. We set out calendar of events. And it, nothing, nothing perturbs me more than when we have our church business meetings and we allow everyone to participate in setting the calendar of events. And then when that event come up, those who are not there saying, why we did this? Well, we did this because that's what everyone agreed on, and you weren't there to, to voice your concern. So uh, let's uh, keep in mind uh, that our church business meeting was scheduled for the first Sunday, first Saturday. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just want to like to say, as, relates, as, as it relates to the business meeting, that uh, we are looking for your participating, for you to to present to us your ideas and thoughts as well. And you can't do it if you're not at the business meeting. Mm -hmm. I want you to come because you got, I know we have some ideas and thoughts of things that we should be doing. Come out and express them so we can come together and be on one accord. Amen. We can have understanding between Amen. one another. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Campbell, for that love. Uh, that's all that I have in the way of the leader month, which I see Sister Green. Oh, okay, Sister Green wants to at this time uh, come and do some presentations as it relates to the Thanksgiving basket cards. Oh, Sister, <coughs> Sister uh, White. White. Sister White. Okay. Yes, I just want to share. Her, uh, Ethan White, and myself are going down to North Carolina on Tuesday okay. to spend a week with Lord Irvin for Thanksgiving. So we won't be here. Uh, so I'm depending on Jarrell and Bree who will be here to, you know, step up. So Jarrell and Bree will be here Thanksgiving morning at 8 o'clock. <laughs> yes, I'll be, I'll be calling them. Jarrell and Bree will be here on Thanksgiving morning <laughs> yeah, at 8 o'clock. <laughs> and they should bring some friends. <laughs> Did I hear an amen? Amen. 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 Y'all want from me? <laughs> hey, little brother, how you doing? All right, all right. Away. I just want to acknowledge you got a message from Sister Williams. Huh? Williams. Williams. Uh, she texted us. She started her six days on and one day uh, on. Yeah, holiday season. Uh, had holiday season. Uh -huh. She wanted to make sure we knew that she made her online contribution online. Amen. I want to thank her. And our heaviest donor is Sister White. 
-hmm. When you don't see her, you can go online and notice she's made a donation. Amen. 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 And so keep that in mind, New Jerusalem. Uh, that we do have our online giving uh, mechanism set up. And on most occasions, when you can't be here, you want to make sure that you turn your offering in. Go online and do it that way. Okay, um, that's all that I have. Pretty much for Pastor, pretty much for Sister Henderson. I wish I could speak to you with more certainty this morning, but uh, I, I can't. I can, I can only uh, tell you uh, what has transpired thus far. As soon as I know more, I'll let you know. Everything okay? Uh, we'll put it online, Pastor, if you pass it on to me. Okay, okay, Minister Wood. Your brother, my wife's mother passed on last night. Mm. So we, we look at the mix of Absolutely, God is present with the Lord. Amen, amen. Okay, so, uh, uh, Sister Green, yeah, that, that's what. If you want to do the presentation to our seniors for the Thanksgiving baskets, and I'm going to ask some of the young people to do it. Um, for Brother and Sister Birch, Deacon Wilson. Amen. Just Amen. let them know what it means to have seniors in Christ like that. Amen. Amen. Good morning. This is a small appreciation for everything you guys do. And one of the oldest couple in the church. Amen. 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 Minister and Deaconess White. Let me see. Sister Dion. Amen. Um, this is just an appreciation for everything you did for playing the piano, because without you, we would really have to hear everybody. Oh. Just know. <laughs> 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 beautiful voice for always helping the For Minister, Minister and um, Sister Campbell Tania. Amen. Watch the cooler. That's right. Just let you know she has.